in most cases we are not interested in how much a given point in a layer has consolidated rather we are interested in the average degree of consolidation of the entire layer this is a measure of how much the entire layer has consolidated and thus it can be directly related to the total settlement of the layer at a given time after loading hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the average degree of consolidation as well as settlement at any uh, time after loading i have been given a question which states that a square footing 2 into 2 meter in size supports a column load of 400 kilonewton the soil characteristics are given in the figure here okay field monitoring uh, indicated that the foundation settlement was 19 mm during the first 12 months we have to find the average stress increase in the clay layer primary consolidation settlement degree of consolidation after 12 months uh, coefficient of consolidation and settlement in 24 months we can see the soil profile in which first layer is the dry sand then we have a saturated sand for one meter then we have a clay layer for two meters and finally there is a bedrock okay and uh, footing is a square footing carrying a load of 400 kilonewton the water table is at a depth of one meter first we will find the stress increase at the base of the footing so stress increase at the base of the footing is simply load uh, divided by the cross-sectional area uh, so this will be equal 400 uh, kilonewton divided by 2 into 2 which is equal to 100 kilopascal this is the stress increase at the base of the footing to find the uh, average stress increase in the layer we will first find some coefficients which will be used to calculate the influence factor so first coefficient is m1 this is given by ratio of length by breadth so it would be 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 then b this is half of the width so it will be 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 then we have to find the third coefficient n1 okay this will be different so to find the stress increase at the top of this uh, clay layer and when this is given by ratio of z by b where this z is the distance from the bottom of the footing to the point where we are finding the stress increase so for top of the clay layer z will be equal to one meter b is one so n1 will be one for middle uh, point of the clay layer this z will be equal to two meter okay so n1 will be equal to 1 2 divided by 1 which is equal to 2 for bottom this z will be equal to 1 plus 2 or 3 meters so n1 for uh, stress increase at the bottom will be 3 by 1 which is equal to 3 after that you will use the tables which can be found in any standard geotechnical engineering book to find the influence factor okay so we have the variation of influence factor with m1 and n1 given in this table so for top we have the value of m1 is equal to 1 and n1 is equal to 1 so influence factor for m1 is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1 is 0 0.701 so i4 is 0 0.701 for uh, a stress increase at the top of the clay layer similarly for uh, middle point of the clay layer m1 is equal to 1 and n1 is equal to 2 which is here so i4 will be equal to 0 0.336 for bottom m1 is equal to 1 and n1 is equal to 3 therefore the value of i4 will be equivalent to 0 0.179 which is here after that uh, the stress increase at the top of the clay layer is simply given by influence factor multiplied by the stress increase at the base of the footing which is 100 kilopascal i4 for uh, top of the clay layer is 0 0.701 which gives us stress increase at the top of the clay layer equal to 70.1 kilopascal stress increase at the middle of the clay layer is equal to influence factor for the middle of the clay layer into the stress increase at the bottom of the footing so this is equal to 0 0.336 into 100 which is 33.6 kilopascal similarly stress increase at the bottom of the clay layer this is equal to uh, influence factor at the bottom of the clay layer which is 0 
into stress increase at the base which is hindrance so it will be 17.9 kilopascal after that average stress increase in the clay layer will be given by simpson's formula which is equal to uh, sigma average is equal to sigma top plus four times sigma middle plus sigma bottom divided by six okay putting values we get the value of average stress equal 37.1 kilopascal so this is the value of average stress increase in the clay layer next we will find the consolidation settlement for that we need the value of wide ratio so wide ratio will be simply equal to since this is a saturated clay okay so the value uh, wide ratio will be given equal to se is equal to wgs s is the degree of saturation e is the wide ratio w is the water content and gs is the specific gravity of solids for saturated clay s is equal to one value of uh, water content is 24 percent or 0 0.24 and gs or specific gravity is 2.74 this gives us the uh, wide value of wide ratio equal 0 0.6576 okay this is the uh, initial wide ratio of the clay layer saturated unit weight of clay this is equivalent to gs plus se into gamma w divided by 1 plus e putting values of gs e gamma w and uh, this e we get the value of saturated unit uh, weight of clay equal 20.1 kilonewton per meter cube after that initial stress in uh, initial effective stress at mid depth of the clay is given by this is equivalent to uh, gamma d into one then plus gamma saturated of sand minus gamma w into one plus gamma saturated of clay minus gamma w into one putting values gamma dry for sand is 14 uh, gamma saturated for sand is 17 gamma w is 9.81 gamma saturated for clay is 20.1 this gives us the value of initial effective stress at the mid depth of clay equivalent to 31.48 kilopascal compression index is given uh, by this empirical formula which is 0 0.009 into uh, liquid limit minus 10 the value of liquid limit is given equal to 46 in the question so compression index will be equal 0 0.009 into 46 minus 10 which is 0 0.324 recompression index this is 1 by fifth of the compression index so it will be equivalent to 0 0.324 divided by 5 which is 0 0.0648 pre-consolidation pressure this is given in the question equal to 40 kilopascal final effective stress it will be equivalent to initial effective stress in the middle of the clay layer plus average stress increase in the layer so this is equal 31.48 plus 37.1 which is equal 68.58 kilopascal we can see that uh, the final stress this is greater than the pre-consolidation stress which is itself greater than the initial uh, effective stress at the mid depth of the clay layer it means this soil is over consolidated and the settlement or consolidation settlement is given as CR into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma P divided by sigma I plus CC into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma F divided by sigma P okay the sigma P or sigma C this is the pre-consolidation stress putting values okay this H is the height of the clay layer which is 2 meter okay so putting values for cr h e sigma p sigma i and sigma f we get the value of consolidation settlement equivalent to 0 0.0997 meter or in mm it is 99.7 mm this is the primary consolidation settlement of the clay layer due to the increase in the uh, stress after that next step will be to find the degree of consolidation after 12 months okay to find the degree of consolidation after 12 months settlement after 12 months is given as 19 mm degree of consolidation is simply given as settlement at any time divided by primary consolidation settlement into 100 so this will be equal to 19 divided by 99.7 into 100 which is equal to 19.1 percent time factor okay 
uh, to find the coefficient of consolidation first we need to find the time factor okay time factor is uh, given as pi by 4 into u square okay u is the degree of the consolidation so it will be pi by 4 into 0 0.191 square which is equal to 0 0.0287 coefficient of consolidation uh, is given equal to time factor into hd square divided by t this uh, hd is the uh, maximum length of the drainage okay we can see that um, our clay layer is singly drained because there is bedrock at the bottom okay which is impervious so and there is saturated stand, uh, sand at the top so maximum length of the drainage will be two meter okay because water will be flowing out from the clay layer at the top of the clay layer t is the time okay so for 12 months or one year t will be equal to 365 days so the value of coefficient of consolidation will be equal to 3.15 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter square per day this is the value of coefficient of consolidation after that, uh, to find the settlement uh, in 24 months, we need to find the time factor for 24 months. So time factor will again be given as CV into T divided by HD square. So CV will remain constant for the pressure range. Okay, so it will be 3.15 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. The value of T will now change. It will be 2 years. Okay, so it will be 2 into 365 and uh, this uh, uh, drainage length of the drainage this will also remain same that is two meter okay and always keep the unit consistent because here uh, the value of units of cv are meter square per day so we have to use the time in days here that's why i have put uh, for two years two into 365 and uh, the length of the drainage i have also used it in the meters so the value of time factor for 24 months will be equal to 0 0.0575 from this you will calculate the degree of the consolidation which is given equal to square root of 4 tv divided by pi so it will be square root of 4 into 0 0.0575 divided by pi which is 0 0.271 or 27.1 percent again you will use the formula for the degree of the consolidation that to find the settlement after 24 months degree of consolidation is equal to st divided by sc where this st is the settlement at any time and sc is the primary consolidation settlement okay so st will be equal to u into sc u here is 0 0.271 and primary consolidation settlement is 99.7 mm this gives us the settlement after 24 months equal to 27 mm okay so this video showed you full procedure to find the average stress increase in soil layer find pre-consolidation settlement find degree of consolidation as well as the settlement at any time after loading i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something new if you found this video helpful subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned